Welcome to Making Models, Tour of Deception Bay. Deception Bay was named by Lieutenant John Oxley in 1823. He mistakenly believed it to be a river due to its shallowness. Shallowness, sorry. <laughs> uh, and it was, used, it was originally a settlement and farming area. But over time, it's become a residential area in the far north of Brisbane. Uh, there's pretty large blocks, as you can see here, um, leading on the, one of the main roads leading into Deception Bay. The blocks are large size. Uh, and also some of them are low, so there's a bit of flooding. Coming into Bancroft Terrace, as you can see, this is named after Joseph Bancroft and his family. Now uh, we'll be seeing some more of them throughout the video. Uh, the Bancrofts were a family of scientists in the late 1800s and early 1900s, and there were three generations that made notable contributions to the natural sciences. Uh, and one of them was a woman, so that's good to hear. But uh, the the patriarch, the founder of the family, Joseph Bancroft, was mainly dealing with mosquitoes and stuff like that. And Deception Bay is well known for its mosquitoes, so he went to the right place to find those. This is called Joseph Crescent after the Bancroft family as well. Now coming up to your left, this used to be a fisheries department, now it's a community centre. And around the corner, we actually come into the bay itself, you can see the water to the left. And the general population, we've got some fun facts for you. The general population is approximately 20,000 people. And that's according to the census data from 2016. So that is a little bit old and the population could well be you know, slightly above that. Uh, it is a lovely place to live with uh, access to the water and decent homes. It's got uh, safe swimming areas for fishing, boating and aquatic sports and it is the arterial road that comes into it is from Deception Bay. Just here we've just stopped off to have a look at the Bancroft Memorial. Now I have taken a slight video of the, the plaques, front and side. You can actually pause those if you'd like to read a bit more about them though. And that blue water out there looks just beautiful. But mainly the water in the bay, because it's very shallow, is usually a, a, a tinged brown. But the, the far, the distant water is, is a lovely blue, and that's the Coral Sea. The suburb of Deception Bay is 19.437 square kilometres. We were trying to show you here some white cockatoos up in the old tree stump there. They, they use the trees all along the foreshore for nesting sites for the birds and possums and, and other wildlife. And you often see birds poking their heads out of the holes. It's, it's very cute. Coming down here to the left is the actual uh, boat ramp, we called it, and Deception Bay. You can see more of the water. We did pick a really good day to go to the Sipton Bay. It's not known to be so beautifully um, watery. It's normally full of mangroves and sand flats. We picked a good day to go down. It's very nice with the water.
Now these uh, mosaics are part of a four kilometre long trail that combines nature and history, showcasing the area's rich past and landmarks. It's an easy walk, it's completely flat, and it can be done in around 90 minutes. And it's often beautiful, especially in the early mornings, as Malcolm can tell you. Uh, the trail also showcases early settlement history and the region's Aboriginal heritage. And uh, speaking about that, the traditional landowners of uh, Deception Bay are the Gubby Gubby people. And their tribal area actually extends to uh, Burham River in the north and Pine River in the south. So it, it's a large area of land. Oh, these are Miss, Mrs. Bancroft's bath. This is one of two baths we found out. Down there it's full of mud, but imagine it in water time. She's bathing in there to, to heal her. And there's actually four holes to, to carry poles and a canopy over the top. So Dr. Bancroft made those for her. Now we're zooming along Captain Cook Parade. And on the right is Apex Park, uh, which is a large sort of open park area. And of course the foreshore on the left. And they've done the foreshore really nicely with lots of uh, picnics, tables and areas, lots of trees. And it's very pleasant, especially in summer when the sea breeze comes up. We're also talking about pleasant, there's a library, but we're also two of our favorite uh, coffee places. One just to the right in front and one just to the left. Both have lovely views, they're very nice there. Or a beautiful bay looking over towards Redcliffe. Just some more interesting facts about Deception Bay, about the cultures in Deception Bay. Um, so 73% of people living in Deception Bay were born in Australia and the other countries represented are New Zealand, England, Philippines, Samoa and Scotland. Additionally, only 86, well, sorry, not only, but 86.3% of people spoke only English at home. And the next most common languages are Samoan, Tagalog and Filipino. And approximately 10,000 people identify as Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander in this area. And it is a, an area with multi-ethnicities. Bay it doesn't always just a beach, it has other areas too. We're just going to do a bit of a cruise off the beach area. Now, we're going random places today. You've seen there's a, um, a Baptist church to the right. We're just going to go cruising a little bit inland to show a bit of the view of Reception Bay. Big area, lots of new shops and things as well. And uh, coming up on the left is uh, large playing fields. Uh, the PCYC and the Council or Public Swimming Pool, which we affectionately call the Duck Pond because in winter, when, when the pool is covered, ducks tend to paddle around on the little pools that are left on top of the cover. 
And here is our sister church, uh, the Peace Presbyterian Church. And just to let you know another interesting fact, the median age of people in Deception Bay is 34 to 37 years old. As you can see from the film, see that the, the uh, average house is a freestanding house, not a connected house. Uh, in Deception Bay, the median weekly personal income for people aged 15 years and over is uh, $547, that's Australian dollars. The median family income is estimated between $1,264 and $1,661 per week. And the median individual income for Deception Bay is $487 per week. Yeah. Keep in mind those figures are a couple of years old, so the rates are generally or will be higher than that. And also Deception Bay um, is, according to the local government, has a higher unemployment rate compared to other areas in the region. Coming up here to the left of the watch is the PCYC, the skate pack in the pool again. And further a bit long, we will see the Marketplace Shopping Centre. We came through the front the other way. This is just the back of it. It's a fairly big complex. Lots of people like to use it. Well, I actually call this the front, and he calls the other street the front. So I've called it the front on the video, but whatever you want to call it is fine. It's all just one big shopping centre. This is one side. That's, That's the, the other, other side. side. Lane. We're heading back towards Deception Bay proper, so along the beachfront. You'll see there are many houses along here. You will see some units coming up here on the left as well. So keep looking forwards. We're going to see our waterfront very soon. Those units are the only multi-storey units in Deception Bay. They're the biggest and the best. <laughs> the biggest and the best. With a price tag to match. There's a retirement village on the left there. Uh, there are quite a lot of retirement villages in Deception Bay and surrounding areas. Lovely boardwalk. It's well used by people and dogs and scooters and bicyclists. So we're coming up here. We'll leave the waterfront. The rest of this for this seafront part will be mangroves. Very important thing for the ecology and then grows around the area and they've kept those here. So 
we're still cruising along the Esplanade South. Now there's an Esplanade and an Esplanade South because they're divided by a, what is it, Malcolm, a channel or something? Yeah, rivulet. A rivulet. Creek. Oh, that's Ferry Way. It's very cute. It's a little community initiated uh, thing uh, where there's, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to describe it, where there's lots of little fairy statues and little fairy houses. And it's just a cute little thing to take your kids through. A lot of art local artists also put things there like painted rocks and stuff like that. And anyone into geocaching, there is a geocache there that you can find as well. Well, thank you very much for sharing with us. Now, here's some photos of early morning seascapes in Deception Bay.